Okay, class, this is Mr. Conrad, here to tell you the highlights of the American Revolution. So here we go. You have George Washington, Ben Franklin, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and everyone else. So first they're born, and they're British. But they were born in America, which were colonies of Britain, so that would make them British. Say what? So King George and Parliament started levying taxes on the colonies, like a lot of taxes. The ones that you should know for the test are the Quartering Act, Tea Act, Sugar Act, and Stamp Act. So all the old men got together. You remember, Washington, Franklin, Adams, Jefferson, and the rest who were born in America, but still were British. And said, let's declare ourselves independent. And Britons were like, say what? So they write their Declaration of Independence and the Revolution begins. They make Washington, they make him commander of the army. And the fighting begins. And so the colonies are losing big time. A lot of people don't think about that. But Britain was kicking our butts so hard, it was like if Muhammad Ali was fighting a baby. So we send Franklin to France to beg for aid. Say what? And get this, we win a few battles, and we're like, Oh yeah, you win France? Okay, we are in. Ha ha ha! Say what? And they send troops, ships, and money. And the Americans went at Yorktown, which was devastating for Britain. They signed a treaty, and America is free. After that, we make our own constitution and levy taxes on ourselves. Say what? I know, right? The very thing we had just fought Britain for, we start doing to ourselves. But it was different, because it was taxation with representation. Oh, yeah. Then a couple hundred years pass, and we are still here. Britain is over there. This guy is president because he was born in America, and he's not British. And we are like, yeah, boy! And in a nutshell, that is the American Revolution. Welcome to